Hey guys, and welcome back to EQ Planes, and today I'd like to make a far more detailed video on what went into designing the A350F livery, uh, winning the competition, and attending the Paris Air Show and Award Show. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So, just in case you haven't heard of this competition at all and you're watching this, Airbus had put out a design competition for their new A350F freighter back in October of 2022. Your job was to design a livery for the new A350, which will eventually feature on the aircraft when it rolls out of the factory in 2024. There were some constraints on what you could make, as you couldn't paint certain part of the aircraft, and you did need to include the Airbus and A350 logoing. However, other than that, it was a pretty free design competition and you could create more or less whatever you wanted to. Winners would also receive two trips to France, one to the Paris Air Show in 2023 for the reveal of the livery, and one to see the first flight of the aircraft in 2024. So in the end, after over 4,000 designs being submitted, me and my brother who entered as a team, along with John from Ireland, were lucky enough to both win the design competition. Airbus had decided to make the competition a tie between me and my brother and John from Ireland as our designs were quite similar and they wanted to combine the two together. Here you can see the original design that me and my brother had submitted and here is John's design right here. So now let me highlight some of the details on me and my brother's design along with kind of how it came together. Me and my younger brother had actually ended up entering the design competition uh, quite late because initially I didn't really know what I'd do for something like that and I didn't really want to submit something that I didn't think was going to do well. But eventually, the idea of a packing box livery uh, came to mind for me, as I thought something like that would just make perfect sense for a cargo aircraft. So then after talking to my brother about the idea, we both decided that it was definitely something worth trying, and tried to figure out how we would like to compose that idea onto an actual livery. I definitely knew I wanted the entire livery to have that kind of beigey cardboard box color. I also initially wanted to outline some of the parts of the aircraft, including some of the areas on the tail along with the nose cone, and engine cowlings with a little bit of black. Kind of what like JetBlue had done with their E190 blueprint livery, in terms of the outlining. Me and my brother also figured that some kind of barcode or packing label was a must have for the livery. So we decided to put it at the back of the aircraft and try and work the registration number into it as well. We also decided we wanted to add a couple other smaller details to the livery as well, including a QR code that led to the Airbus website on the winglets, along with the this side up uh, sticker on the doors as you know the doors open up. Then after adding those elements and looking at the design, I decided the design definitely looked a little bit empty on the side that didn't have the cargo door, so I figured I'd put a buy airmail sticker on that side. So yeah, after adding that sticker, I felt pretty happy with the design, definitely thought it was something incredibly unique and something that would stand out a lot, but was also pretty clean looking in my eyes. And after that, me and my brother had submitted the design and signed my dad's name onto it as well, as we did need somebody over 18. So then in March, Airbus released a video saying that they had picked a winner, and we heard back from them shortly after that. And then Airbus got to uh, working on combining the two designs and adding a few of their own elements as well. At the Paris Air Show with both uh, me, my brother, and John there, they announced the design and put a video of it up online, which you can see being played here. The design certainly changed a lot uh, through the combination and through what Airbus added, but it definitely still keeps the core design philosophy and uh, quite a few of the small details we had added to it as well, just in kind of a different orientation. So here I'll take a quick chance to run you through what ended up being the final design as well. So overall you can see they kept the main beigey kind of cardboard box design to it. However, they did add their carbon fiber tail. That was Airbus's idea and I definitely think it was a pretty nice touch to the livery design as it helps keep it uh, quite uniform with the other A350s that have been made. Uh, that carbon fiber tail was actually put on the second A350 ever built, uh, which you can see here. Another new element that you can see is the uh, packing tape that was added. That was taken from John's design originally, as John's design did have tape on it, mine didn't. However, Airbus did change the color of that tape to orange and put the A350F logo across it as well. Next large element you can see is the packing label, which was something taken from our design. There you can see it has the barcode, various information about the aircraft, a QR code, which originally we had on the winglets, but now is on the packing label as well. And that packing label also features both John's, my, and my brother's name. Another element you can see from our design is on the engine cowling, you can see the uh, blue uh, airmail stamp that we had had on our design as well. Another element you can see is the yellow boxes featuring different kind of cargo the A350F can take, and that was an element that Airbus had added themselves. You can also see the this way up arrows on the airplane, which is something that featured on both of our designs. 
So yeah, there's definitely plenty of small little subtle details in the design, and overall I think it came together quite well in the end. And when it comes to the Paris Air Show, Airbus had invited us out to their pavilion and we got to tour some aircraft that you wouldn't necessarily have been able to get inside if you weren't with Airbus. Which included some pretty exciting aircraft like the Qatar Airways A350, JetBlue A321neo, and Air France A220, along with the A330 MRTT. If you'd like to see a video uh, going into more detail about the tours through these planes, uh, we'll definitely post one in the future. We were also invited to Airbus's restaurant, which is on site at their pavilion. We were also able to get some pretty incredible shots from their balcony of the aircraft demonstrators at the air show as well. It was also really nice getting to talk to many of the people at Airbus as it was definitely good to have conversations with people who uh, know and like aviation as much as you do. It was also great to hear from the vast amount of experience that many of them have within the industry. Overall, this was an incredible experience and I'm very fortunate to have been able to win this competition as this certainly would be any AvGeek stream and certainly was one of mine as I could have never possibly imagined I'd be able to attend something as amazing as the Paris Air Show. I'm also super excited to be invited back to France by Airbus to witness the first flight of the aircraft in 2024, and there will certainly be plenty of content around that when that happens as well. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hope to see you guys back next time.